seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. The Savachi syndrome, I'm telling you, I'm like, well, holy shit, that was crazy. Wait for it. Thick and slick. <laughs> What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Moto Aftermath Show Fantasy Podcast Edition. Thanks for tuning in. This is episode, I believe, we're on six now, so we're we're working our way right through this season. Uh, we are wrapping up Indianapolis two. We are talking picks and strategy going into Indianapolis three. On the phone with me today, normal co-host of the show, Tucker Rocky Rep, Cole Ugetti. Cole, what's up, man? Oh, not a lot, man. Just uh, getting getting some stuff done work wise. Just got up in uh, snow snow blue snow blowed the driveway. You use the snow blower uh, on the driveway. We'll just go with that. Sounds better. Yeah. Well, I got the driveway cleared. How does that sound? Well, um, give it an hour. You can go do it again. Yeah, I got that done. We're getting hammered with snow, and then uh, yeah, getting packed up, heading down to Indy tomorrow for the race. So pretty pumped up. Where? Uh, what section are you sitting in tomorrow? Oh, let's see where the tickets are. Uh, we're hooked it up with a suite, I guess. So. Oh, look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants over here. Um, what's it say? Section aisle, US 40A, whatever that means. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, row, box, one, seat, four. Since this bad boy is only 70 bucks, if it's 70 bucks to sit in there every, every race, I'm in every race. That's weird. Did you buy these tickets or did Tucker give them to you? Uh, Tucker gave them to me. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Then. So, so, well, I will be down with the peasants. Uh, I believe we're in section three hundred four or something. So, I will be down with the peasant people. I paid for my tickets. I'm going that way. Number one, it's awesome because no one can say shit to me about what I say about anything because I pay for my way in. Number two, hey, well, I mean, I'll tell you what. This is going to be luxury to me because you know what I usually do. So this is my signature move. <laughs> I get there day of. I wait in line. I get the cheapest general admission ticket there is. I said, what's the cheapest one you got? All and right. they say, this is the cheapest one. It's usually 20 25 bucks or whatever. Nosebleed. Yeah. Way up there. And uh, so, yeah, me and a couple of the boys, we get those. And then uh, night show starts. Boom, there's nobody sitting at the handicap section on the uh, right up in the top of the upper bowl, padded seats. The teams are up there recording their riders. <laughs> Pop a squat. There we are, prime seating the rest of the night Sick. for 20 bucks. Sick. Yeah, we um we actually had the handicap seats on uh, last Saturday's race, too. I don't know how I ended up buying those, but, dude, it was fucking awesome because, yeah, you're right, padded uh, folding chairs, which is great. There's no one around you, which is fucking awesome, so... I mean, right now it's it's pretty easy. Yeah, and, and I mean, I love Supercross. I wish it would sell out, but when the fuck is one ever going to sell out? Supposedly, last Saturday, Indy was sold the max capacity that they could have. Is what well, I'm talking like normal capacity. They're not no. putting eighty thousand people in a Supercross. No. Maybe, no. maybe Anaheim one. Maybe they may have given all the tickets out so they can say it's sold out. But yeah, no, nah, I've I have yet to be to one where every single seat in the stadium is filled. So yeah, exactly. Like, Tuesday, Tuesday night, we uh, I think we were supposed to be in like section two twenty two, which was kind of in the corner, right by the start line there. And I didn't really care for it because I couldn't see a bunch of the track because of the overhead over the start, or I'm sorry, over the finish line. So we actually ended up moving to like section 225 right behind the start because there really wasn't a yeah, lot of they... people there Tuesday. So they said they said it sold better than Houston, but there wasn't a ton of people. So um, yeah, I mean, you can you can find seats, <laughs> but you don't need to this time because you're in a suite, right? Because you're over there balling. I've been in a suite down there. It's awesome. At some point here, uh, the uh, TLR Coatings is going to buy a suite down there for for the race. So, because it wasn't wasn't terribly priced last time I looked into it. So, yeah. at least not for twenty no. people. So, no, I'm excited. Maybe it'll uh, make what we're about to get into a little better for me. Putting my own eyes on the track. 
Well, don't get too hot. I don't, I don't know with the suite if you can get in earlier, but like, so we can get in at at least the normal ticket holders. And I don't, like I said, I don't know if yours is different. So we can get in at three. I believe I looked yesterday. Race day live comes on at two o'clock, which means by the time we get in, you're probably going to see four fifty. You're only going to see second practices. Well, so like last Saturday, if we, if we would have went in at three, which we didn't, we got, we got a little fucked up and we had the kids. So we were, we were, running around doing some stuff um we didn't go right in at three now watching race day live at three o'clock when it went on you could have got in and saw 450a and 450b q1 um but yeah no you weren't you weren't getting in to see much more than that and even the 450a you might have missed the first couple minutes of it if you ran right in and were right at the front so i think that's what we're going to try to do this weekend is get right in at three o'clock um but we'll we'll see what happens so but yeah, yes, it, it definitely sucks. It throw, dude. I'll tell you what. I know. I, I mean, I know at least for me, when I've gone to these races, it's always been, dude. Eleven thirty, I was in line. Noon, I was in the stadium, and I was there all day. And it fucking threw me off both days, not going to the stadium until almost like four o'clock, five o'clock, um, to watch right, two, yeah. two. I was like, dude, I don't even know. And like, it really sucks because usually it takes me the first qualifying session to kind of figure out the track, where to watch, who to watch. So then by the time we get to Q2, it's like, okay, cool. I kind of know where to dial in and what to watch. And, uh, yeah, so it just, I don't know, it throws my whole day off. It makes it tricky watching in person, so. Oh, yeah, it really does. It screws everything up. Yep. So, all right, but enough uh, enough talk here as far as uh, as far as us going to the race here. Let's get into some fantasy talk. Um, actually, let me pull this up. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, we play uh, fantasy on pulpamexfantasy.com. Make sure to go there, sign up, uh, send us your username in a DM on Instagram so you can win prizes. Uh, we did give out two prizes here, or we're going to give out two prizes for uh, Indianapolis 2. We had a two for Tuesday, which I think we're going to continue to do on the Tuesday night races. We're going to do two prizes on there, and then we'll do sporadic other prizes uh, throughout the rest of the season on the Saturday races. Also, we have the uh, top three season ending prizes, which are a full answer gear pack with helmet, gloves, jersey, pants. We have a GoPro Hero 8 uh, Black Edition, so it is a good one. Don't worry. And then, um, and then we'll have a, a a swag pack for third place with all T-shirts, stickers, everything from the show, the sponsors, whole nine yards there. Um, but as far as the Indianapolis two, I just want to throw out a congratulations to our top two people. We had Essex 88 and, uh, burner 54. Uh, they scored 319 and 316 points. So congratulations guys. Again, make sure to DM us on Instagram. Um, we'll let you guys pick your prize. It really, since we're just drop shipping them out, it really doesn't matter. We can, uh, we can pretty much send, I mean, we can send both of you guys the same thing. It doesn't matter. So you guys can just pick. Um, but yeah, congratulations to those guys there. As far as the, um, oh, shoot, wait, actually, huh. If I would go in the right league, sorry, that was the wrong league. Yeah, God. what the fuck are you guys going Dude, on? Dude, I'm fucking, you know me, I'm an industry idiot, bro. Okay, so again, congratulations to our winners here, XLJ. J E H whatever 310 points and uh Showtime 133 got second with 309. <laughs> uh, 310 points? Yeah. Unfucking believable. I know, right? Um yeah, so congratulations to those two guys. Uh again, DM us on Instagram if you haven't already um to claim your prizes and like I said, we uh, uh FMF goggles any colorway you want that we have in stock and uh Maxima uh, oil change kit is what we're giving away. So, like I said, you both can get the same thing. You get opposite; it doesn't really matter. But uh, for the, for you two guys, make sure to uh, to like I said, DM us, and uh, we will get your prizes out to you. Now, as far as the league itself goes, here series overall, I like that a lot better because boom, there I am up at the top. Uh, Boy. 1,284 points. But I got to say, our Vic BMX 73 is on my ass with 1,281. So I'm going to have to do a little do a little finagling here, make sure I uh, pull off a win here. So um, 
Let's see here. If we go in, where am I at? Results. Oh, uh, you might want to scroll. The hell the, you might want to scroll. Oh, the second I have one thousand sixty-five. Yep, thirty-nine six. <sighs> yeah, dude. So you're only two hundred and some odd points behind me. So we'll see how this goes for you. Um. Anyway, uh, let's talk results here. So Indianapolis two, I thought was going to be a complete shit show for me. However, I uh, I did luck out. I managed to score a 283-point night. In the 250 class, I had Grant Harlan got me 52. Lane Shaw got me 52. Logan Carnow, Logan Carnow got me 52. Um, and then what really fucked me is uh, Jet Lawrence, two points. So thanks a lot, Jet. Really helped the team out there. I mean, that's crazy that if, like, Jet... Even well, those two points should have went to John Short, but we'll talk about that another time. Well, the crazy thing is is that if Jet even rides that main, say he gets top five, he he's slow and he gets top five, I get another 20 points. Dude, I'm in the 300s all day long. <laughs> so um, then when we move into 450s, I had a pretty decent night, actually, in 450s. I had Brock Tickle at 34. Joey Savacci got me 38. Justin Bogle got me 30, and AC pulled off a 23 for me. Um, so like I said, overall, I was pretty stoked because uh, going into the 250 LCQ, I thought I was going to go to the main event there with six – or go into the mains for the night with six dudes, and I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be a bad one. And then we somehow pull a 283 out of our ass, which is right in my realm of where I want to be on average. I didn't pick first the finish line. And like I said, I am stoked because I am fucking killing shit right now. So I'm okay. How did you do on Saturday? Uh, 238. So I continued my trend of 230 to 240, except for Houston 2, where I got 122. That's really the one that's kicking my ass right now. Okay. There's my 150 to 180 points right there. So, um, yeah, I would be right in the money if it weren't for that one round. Um, so I, uh, man, I, I really feel like an idiot because after looking back, there were a lot of potential for 52s. Um, but I wanted to go again, the, the route where I was going to be a little safer in the long run, play the long game. And I got bit in the ass, of course. So I had Grant Harlan 52, which is great. Our guy Kev 42, he, I guess, swallowed a rock or whatever. And that probably had something to do with him fading back a little bit. Yeah. He said he couldn't breathe. Yeah, so I had him, 42 points, good. Uh, Moseman, 26. And then uh, right here, I was doing good. High 40s. I'm a still. <laughs> you know, flat tire. Flat tire, ended up, went to Indonesia. I mean, it was a good job. Yeah, <laughs> and I ended up getting six points. So there's, what, 40, let's say 35 on the board right there. That puts me up in the 270 range, so. Yep. Whatever, I guess. What do you do? This has just been kind of how my year's been going. Um, just like Carnell last week with a shot blowing. So, woohoo. Um, 450 class was decent. I had a very solid 450 team. I had Brock Tickle with 34 points. Um, Martin Davalos, 32. Justin Bogle, 30. And uh, Cooper Webb left a couple points on the table there with 23. And then this is where things went sideways for me again. Um, I went Jet Lawrence with the first lap leader, and we all know how that went. So Solid. There, there's seven more on the table, so that puts me 240s, mid-240s, which would have been great, but well, I, whatever, I guess. I mean, yeah, here's what it is. All I know is I'm spanking that ass on everybody here this year, so I feel pretty good so far. I'm going to hit a wall at some point. I know it. So. Hey, everybody's got to win something. Well, in their lives. you know, the sad part was, was I was so pumped. I got 283, which I believe is a season high for me. And like, dude, I wasn't even fucking close to the top with anything. I was so mad. I was like, dude, are you serious? Like I scored 283, which is pretty much a killer store, a killer score when it comes to super cross. And I get, nothing i thought for sure i was gonna win some more money in industry idiots but nope wasn't even on the first page in industry idiots for for this weekend so uh, oh well like i said i'm solid i'm in there i'm tied for eighth and idiots i'm leading our league so i'm i'm pretty stoked i'm 29th overall it, so i got your 29th overall yeah unfucking yeah yeah i know i could i said the same thing also <laughs>
<laughs> I want that or top hundred though. I want a number plate by my fucking name next year. So I am, I dude, I am, I'm getting very strategic this year, which is, I know at some point it's going to bite me in the ass. Like, dude, I'm looking at, I'm looking at heat race lineups at this point, like trying to count like, okay, cool. So this guy qualified 10th, but who in the race is going to probably fucking beat him. And, oh, this guy is probably going to get beat by this guy, which is going to put him from say, like, say he qualified and he's basically starting seventh for the, for the heat race. Well, he's probably going to do eighth or ninth, which puts him on the bubble. Oh, maybe I shouldn't get him. So yeah, dude, trust me. I and I thought it was all imploding on Saturday or on Tuesday. I really thought we were imploding when I when I went in with uh, with the jet crash and then um, who else was it? Was it sales? Uh, oh Shaw going into the LCQ. I was like, oh boy, yep. here we go. So yeah. Okay. I was hoping maybe you picked Hunter Sales or something, but no, I couldn't actually. I had him the week before, so. Um, but speaking of that, we can get into our teams here for, uh, for going forward for Indy three for tomorrow. Um, so for two fifties here, I've already picked a team cause the things came up last late last night. So, uh, two fifties, I got Thomas Doe three handicap. I feel like there's a lot of value there. I feel like he's a solid with the way the field is six to nine guy. Um, I also have our boy Kevin Moran's right now, which actually is funny cause I had him on my team for Indy two and the qualifying scared me just enough that I took him off. Um, but anyway, I have him back on the team cause he's top 10 dude all day long in this field. I mean, fuck, he was choking on a rock the whole main and still, uh, managed to get it, to get 10th place. Um, so he's got three handicaps. So I'm good on that. Uh, Moseman, he's got a three handicap. He's my all-star for the 250 class right now. And uh, I think that's a pretty solid pick because, I mean, basically, as far as All-Stars go, you have Moseman, uh, Shimoda, uh, uh, Nichols, and Craig. And I've heard Jets racing, but I'm not sure what kind of condition he's in at this point. Um, so I'm out on him. But I basically feel that Moseman is is pretty much guaranteed a fifth place or better unless something wild happens. Uh, which hopefully he doesn't because I'd like him to come on the show here at some point. But anyway, um, so I got Moseman with a three handicap, and then I have Hunter Sales with an eight right now. So that's my 250 team. What do you got going on? Um, I'm similar. Um, sales does scare me just because of the stupid shit that's happened to him in the LCQs. Um, so, but I do have Sales. So, um, I think he, what, what round did Dino get in the way? Houston three? Yeah. Um, same thing. Sales goes down in the last corner, does something stupid. Doesn't make say, a fun, fun fact with sales. Cause I've already listened to the pulp fantasy recap too. Uh, he has gone a DNQ 12 DNQ. And so now we're pretty sure he's in. So, okay. All right. Well, man, yeah, this is his week then. Hopefully or I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> um, I got car out of six. Um, he's been a shoe in for the main all year. He's been doing better than 15, so he should be getting some double points, so we'll see. Um, I got Wilson Fleming at a 7. Um, I feel like that's all. I was just looking at him on the pick here, and I was like, man, that's that's very, very juicy there because his last finish was 11th, so if you give me if you give me a 10th or 11th place finish with him and a 7 handicap, I mean, I'm taking those sort of double points all day long. <laughs> Yeah, so I yeah I'm gonna be looking at him Thurman. I am all the way out on Thurman. Um, Struggle bus and not enough there for me. He likes to eat shit. Max Miller can't keep it on two wheels. I'm out there. He had a big wreck, and we're not sure he's racing. So okay, so that opens up the door for another guy with a really high handicap that might make the main. So um, Lane Shaw at an eight. He's gonna be somebody I'm gonna look at. He's pretty solid. Um, but another guy I'm going to look at is, uh, oh shoot. He's an all-star now. Somehow he's an all-star after getting dead last. Um, John Schwartz. Uh, don't uh, pick him. I heard he's got a second degree separated shoulder. Okay. Well, yeah, he's an all-star. So what the hell? Anyway, um, I'm definitely looking at Mitchell Oldenburg at a zero too. I'm There's out. no way he's out of the top five. I'm out. No, there's no way he finished twentieth. I mean, if if everything goes to plan, when I'm, I mean, no way. Um, and even if he eats shit, I see him getting back into the top ten. But 
I don't know. He scares me too. He's a pinball. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna swap out. Mitchell Oldenburg is on my team right now. He is also on Dan Truman and Steve's team. Um, yeah, y'all every are every single guy, Dan, whoever the hurlings icon is, Steve, they're all lined up on Hunter Sales, all four of them. And we got Steve on Devin Simonson as well. Did not qualify last week, and he's a 12. I'm out on that. Um, I'm out on him, though. What about Luke Neese at a 10? I'm out on that, too. I just don't think he has the raw speed. Okay. Uh, um, Lahovi. And I'm also, all these guys, every single one of the experts is locked in on Thomas Doe as well, which sucks. I wish I could take him. Yep. Um, but hey, what do you do? Um, I mean, just here's another guy you didn't say, uh, Jeremy Hand at a two. I mean, it, the value is uh, getting real there, low, dude. but man, dude, he's he's on he's on his way to uh, to basically having a low double digit number for next year. <laughs> oh yeah, because the points fucking work. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean that's that's all I really have. I am. Uh, so right now I am Carnow, Sales, and Oldenburg. Um, Oldenburg and Zero. I mean, he's a top ten guy. Like there's there's no doubt in my mind. As long as that bike holds together. Um, then yeah, Hunter Sales and eight Carnow to six. Uh, Christian Craig is going to be my handicap or my handicap, my all star to handicap of one. Um, I don't. Well, I, I see him at least getting a podium. Yeah, I mean it. Shit would have to go way sideways for him not to be not to be on the box at this point. Realistically, I think you could pick almost any of those top few guys. I mean, you could pick Moseman, Craig, uh, uh, Nichols. Um, yeah, I wouldn't go. You Osby absolutely as far can't as go with Nichols because yeah, Nichols is a negative one, so you're an idiot if you go with him. Uh, also, I mean, he's won three races in a row. What do you think the chances is he gets beat? He's good late in the race. Who? Uh, Nichols. Nichols? I don't think. I don't think. I don't. I don't know that he uh, is getting beat on Saturday again. I think he's he's gonna really, you know, drop the hammer here. Go four in a row. Yeah, but I mean, still a negative one. Even if he gets first, that's still not maxing out. I mean, I'll take a twenty-three point All Star compared to my two points I scored with Jet last week. So, okay, I, you're cutting out kind of too. What are, are you at, at Walmart? Nah, bro. You got Walmart internet? Nah, bro. I'm at my house. No, I can hear you just fine. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Joe Schmoda is another one too. I mean, he's a three handicap. So again, he's. Almost, I think, Gary, I mean, dude, he was down the first corner way behind and still came back to fourth. So I think you can almost guarantee him a top five spot, too. So I really think those guys, other than John Shore and uh, maybe Josh Osby, are a little sketchy for me. Obviously, we don't know if Short's even racing. Um, those two as all-stars are a little sketchy. The rest of them, I think, are pretty okay. So uh, anybody, yeah. anybody else 250-wise or we're moving on to 450s? No, 450s are just uh... – I don't know. It's basically like going to the local Battle Creek Motorcycle Club, Money Moto, and picking a guy. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so you got Barsha at a four handicap. That uh, I think is pretty tasty for an all star there. Um, so Justin Brayton is not an all star. Two handicap. I have him on my team right now because I feel like you can't go wrong with Justin Brayton. I mean, he had a bad race last week. He finished 22nd. However,. I don't think you're going to run into that issue again. Yeah, my uh, Brayton kind of scares me a little bit after watching the race back. I mean, he was battling for ninth and tenth. I think there's more value elsewhere. Well, I got uh, Chiz is going to Chiz. I can pick him again this week, so he's on my team. Eight handicap. I mean, dude, you can just count on Chiz getting in there. Top 15-ish dude. If shit's crazy like it has been at Indianapolis the last two rounds, a couple guys go down, all of a sudden he's up to like twelfth, something like that. Yeah. I mean you can't you can't go wrong with Chiz because he's gonna be in there. Like he's gonna be in there. Chances are high he's gonna finish where he gets you double points. Uh, that's all I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, he's been super solid. Can I interest you in a Keg Clayson? 
for a 14 handicap. I am hard out. All right. Uh, Party Marty, six. I picked him last week, or I would pick him again. Um, he, he's slowly trying to put it together. Um, Ends up on the ground. No, a lot. I, I, uh, I can't pick him, but he's definitely a guy I would look at. Ends up on the ground a lot. Vince, yes, he does, Vince but he Freeze. still ends up in the top 15 every time. Yeah, I guess. Vince Freeze has been crashing a lot, so I'm out on him. Heartraft, uh, who knows if he's going to make the main. I'm out on him. Uh, let's see here. How about Marvin Muskin at a one? He is on my team. He is on my team also right now. So I'm good with that. Zach Osborne for an all-star, six handicap. Yep, I, he is on my team as well. He is also on my team. So uh, AP with a negative one, I don't think that's great. No, I'm there's, not picking AP. There's, there's not enough upside there. How about A-Ray at a 13? Um, I mean, oh, man, that, that's tough, but... I mean, you look at it, and he yes, he is a 13. He automatically is into double points, but he's like, it's like 20 second place, you know? Yeah. So he, his double points are what, 28, 32? Yeah, something like that. I, Which I is still super solid, but I think, you know, a guy like Marv in the top 10, um, you get a guy maybe like Brayton. Um, I, I think there's more value elsewhere, but. Oh, man, he's just so hit or miss that it really, really scares me. I was say, it's like he could get in and get you double points, or he could not make the main. It's kind of a sendy pick. So Yeah, I mean, I'd rather have eight points than no points at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, Joey Savacci, I can't pick him, but he's a two handicap, and he's starting to look better. I mean, inside the top ten guy, um, I don't know. that. There's some value there. Depends if he if he looks like he did the other day. Yes. If he doesn't, eh, it might be time to move along. So. Yeah. yeah. Um. How about Benny Bloss at an eight? Uh, I'm out on Benny forever. 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 He screwed me too many times in outdoors last year. I'm out forever. I'm JT in this. I'm not. Uh, I'm not picking Benny again. He scares me. I broke my yeah, he, with Savachi, Okay. He, he's really burnt my bridges too. Uh, um, Carlin Gardner at a 13. I like that one too. If you really wanted to send it, you could do the Garden Gardner A Ray combo. Yeah, he's definitely. And been then throw uh, Justin Starling in there. Oh, Justin Starling, I'm out on that. Steve has been in on that hard, and it's been biting him in the ass. But I'm I'm out on the Starling thing. He can't get a start, dude. 16, dude. I know, which would be awesome if he could make it, but he hasn't made a fucking main yet, and he can't get a start to even get close. Yeah, he's been a little hurt, and he's been getting closer and closer, but I'm definitely going to look at him. Ugh, no, I'm out on that. Um, I think for an all-star here, you've got uh, options of Eli Tomac and Cooper Webb. Both have two handicaps. Uh, I think that's. I think those are a couple of solid picks there as far as all-stars go. The 450s, it's mostly just like hit the average. And then try to make all your points in the 250 class. Right now, yeah. 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 So, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, though. We got we got some dudes. We got some dudes coming for uh, uh, for Orlando here. I heard Bowers is coming back for Orlando. Um, I heard Sexton's gonna be back at Orlando. So Orlando is gonna be interesting. Orlando is gonna be a little better. Yeah. Um, so, I can pick Savachi actually out of two. Um, are you when you got two guys at two, Brayton or Savachi? Who are you going? Oh, that I feel like Brayton has less issues. Raw has less raw speed. I don't feel like he's quite as fast, but I feel like he has less issues. Savachi, he's solid. Savachi's kind of a toss up. Like I was nervous Tuesday, but he qualified so good, and I don't remember what his handicap was, but I think it was something halfway decent. And I was like, oh. If you can just get in the top ten, like we'll get halfway decent points, man. So, which is yeah. exactly what I think he did. So, um, man, I mean, like I said, the four fifties are just so scarce, and it's pretty much toss the names in a hat and uh, and hope for the best because there really isn't. Uh, oh, man, I mean, you got seven deuce deuce. He's made a couple mains. He's a fifteen handicap. He's another kind of sendy pick there. Um. 
Fuck, I don't know, man. I'm. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm. I'm out on 450s. I'm sticking with my team for right now. I'll watch practice, obviously Saturday, and see what see what happens. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much all I got. I'm not doing first to finish line. I'm not going crazy. I don't need to lose points. Yeah, I have Colt Nichols at first to finish line, but yeah, that stuff scares me too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you got to get a little sendy. I just got to keep playing the averages here. So. Yep, I do need to get higher. I don't know. I'm still, I think, going to play the averages game and, and hope something happens. But when we get into the last half of the season, uh, I'm going to start getting tendy. I mean, dude, the, so the crazy thing is, and I just thought about this today, I mean, in a couple of weeks here, like two weeks from Saturday, we're going to be halfway through the season. Mm-hmm. Which is fucking wild to think about that we're already going to be, you know, by the end of February, we're going to be halfway through this thing, man. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, it is crazy to think about. Yeah, compared compared to normal, this is getting wild. So, um, okay, cool. Uh, anything anything else fantasy wise you want to talk about here uh, before I wrap this up? Or no, right now, man, I'm I'm good. I'm okay. gooch. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, so no weekly prize on uh, on this round. Um, like I said, congratulations to our two winners. Let me look them up again here. Uh, from Tuesday night, I'll get the right league this time too, so I say it the first time correctly. Uh, congratulations to XLJEH and Showtime133. Again, make sure to DM us on Instagram. Uh, it's at the Moto Aftermath Show, and we will uh, get your guys' information, get your prizes out to you. Thanks to our sponsors, who I did not mention at the beginning of the show because I am fucking terrible at this. Uh, TLR Coatings, Premier Custom Trailers. Uh, the Dirt Bike Depot and JT Cycles. I think that's everyone now. We're getting too many. I'm going to have to really have a list, honestly. Um, so thanks to all of them for all their support. Make sure to go check them out. There will be links in the description down below. There's also links to support us. I keep forgetting to mention that on all these podcasts. There are links in the description down below um, to uh, to support us if you want to. There's Patreon links. There's uh, You can go buy merch. You can go just to click on one of the Amazon links, go to Amazon, buy something. You don't have to buy what we have in the link, whatever. Um, If you just click the link and then go through Amazon somewhere, you can can buy whatever, and we get a small slice of that, which will help us out here. want to say uh thanks to everyone that came on the show the other night if you haven't heard we had a we had a pretty big show the other night we had uh coach rob beams on and uh he's he's very intelligent with the whole uh, uh physical aspect physical fitness side of the whole sport um we had bobby piazza on talking about his side of the story there and then we had our normal uh, friend of the show, Kevin Moran's on to talk about his night and the track, et cetera. Uh, so go make sure to check that out. Talking about Indy 2. Um, and then I know a lot of you have been asking to get back to the normal show where we're recording, um, which we will be doing hopefully starting Sunday. I think me and Justin are going to be back in studio. Um, if not the week after, we will definitely be doing that. So it just kind of just kind of depends because we're driving back from Indianapolis on Sunday. So we are going to yep. be yep. on the road all day and then hopefully back early enough to, like I said, get a recording in at some point here. So don't worry. The regular show is coming back. For those of you who were worried about Cole not being on the show, Cole has just been busy. He's obviously on this show. He will be on the regular show, too. We will be back to a somewhat normal schedule after we get past this Indianapolis here because I don't know that I'm going to any more of the rounds this year. So the regular show is coming back. We won't be having just these podcasts with the with the blank, boring screen uh, the whole time. But you can find us on YouTube. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, that really helps us out. If you don't want to watch us on YouTube, you just want to listen because we obviously don't have much of a video feed going on right now. We are now on all major uh, podcast channels. So Apple Podcasts, Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, or whatever the hell that's called, and SoundCloud. We're on all four of those, or at least we should be. I signed up for everything uh, this week because I had some downtime while I was in Indy. So you, you can said listen. Spotify? Yeah. Oh. We should we should be on Spotify now. Go check it out after right. we get off here and make sure we're on there. They said it could right. take like several hours after I signed up to get on there, but we should be on there. Um, so make sure to uh, you can listen to us, like I said, pretty much anywhere you get your podcast. So go check that stuff out. And uh, thanks for the support, everyone. And we will see everyone after Indy 3. Later. <laughs>